The majority of patients diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma are able to be cured with frontline chemotherapy, uh, usually ABVD, at least in the United States. However, there's a substantial proportion of patients for whom that treatment fails. Um, those patients can subsequently be cured, typically with multi-agent chemotherapy and autologous stem cell transplantation. The success of that treatment, though, depends a lot on the efficacy of that salvage chemotherapy to get patients back into remission to give the transplant the best chance of success. <clears throat> so what we sought to do to try to improve our options for that first salvage chemotherapy was add the anti-CD30 antibody drug conjugate brentuximab vidotin to the ICE chemotherapy regimen. Brentuximab vidotin is approved currently in the U.S. only for uh, single agent use after multiple lines of therapy or after autologous transplantation. So this study was combining it with ICE chemotherapy to see if that would improve the efficacy compared to historical results. Uh, what we found was that this combination was generally well tolerated. Um, essentially the toxicity profile is very similar to what you would expect with ICE, multi-agent chemotherapy, some myelosuppression, some nausea, alopecia, and so forth. Um, there was a little bit of neuropathy, but not really dose limiting in any degree, generally grade one and not in the majority of patients. Uh, in terms of efficacy, what we found was that the overall response rate out of 16 patients treated so far was over 90% with an 88 PET negative complete response rate. Uh, historically, getting into a PET negative CR typically pretends a very good outcome with subsequent autologous transplantation. Uh, so we're fairly excited about that result, though it's early. Um, <clears throat> we had no problems collecting autologous stem cells. Mo this therapy was given with the intent of consolidating with autologous transplantation. That was indeed the case for the majority of patients treated. Um, enrollment is still ongoing. We're also looking at some correlative analyses to try to improve things like risk stratification, response uh, assessments, and so forth. So those data are going to be forthcoming.